Hi, Michael Zvein from Zendex. Thank you for being with us today. No, thanks for having me. Yeah. So maybe to start uh, with a little question, maybe you can explain us what is Zendesk and uh, <laughs> why did you cr decide to create Zendesk? So Zendesk is a customer service, customer engagement platform. Uh, it was built originally out of Denmark, uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. We moved the company to San Francisco, have more than 100,000 businesses around the world using our software, for just providing great customer service and great customer engagement. Very proud of what we've done. We have several thousand employees, offices uh, in uh, 15 locations around the world. Very excited to be here in Paris today and work with all our great French customers too. Okay, maybe for you, uh, how digital has changed the customer experience and what are the major impacts? So, Sendesk is a 10-year-old company um, and in those 10 years, everything has changed. When we launched Sendesk, there was no iPhone, <laughs> there was no Facebook just kind of came out of the colleges um, and like the whole app economy, the gig economy, the, all these new services, devices that help us through the day to day and our partners in good and bad, they didn't exist. So everything around customer expectations, everything about access to information, everything about instant services, transparency, all these things have completely changed and it has also completely changed customer expectations. Okay, and so in France in particular, uh, Zendesk is part of the 26 international startups programs at uh, Station F, right? And so how did you help young French startups to be successful in the past year? So we're very, uh, we're very proud about hosting about 10 startups at Station F. Uh, and we try to give them easy access to our organization, uh, help them build applications and services for the customer experience industry help them get access to our customers uh, and uh, help them guide them through kind of the startup years. We do that through our people locally here, but also through the people that comes in from our international offices. And we see some great things going on here, very proud about uh, what we see. Okay, right, great, really great program. And uh, you you are from uh, Denmark, right? Correct. <laughs> and your startup uh, skyrocketed once you moved to the United States, right? So what are the main differences between our two continents? Well, I think first and foremost, it's important to remember that 10 years ago, there was really no startup ecosystem in Europe. Like, we couldn't raise money here. There were no events like this. There were no organizations, nothing for startups. So back then, we didn't really have a choice. If we wanted to figure out a way of building a company, we had almost had to move it to Silicon Valley and San Francisco. Things are definitely different today. There's a lot more things going on, and I think today you have a choice. But it's very important to remember that Silicon Valley, San Francisco has been doing this for many, many, many years. And you have access to talent, you have access to experience, you have access to capital, to business development opportunities, to partner opportunities, to customers, to, to early adopters in a way that you have nowhere else in the world. So it's still a phenomenal place and, and a, a, a very high bar for a startup ecosystem. Okay, thank you very much, Michael Zvain.